Hey guys, welcome back. This is a quick response video to the last video about my boot setup. I got a few questions about the exact settings and a few other things, so I decided to make a response video with a little more clarity. If you haven't seen the first part, I'll link that down in the description and you should definitely watch that before you watch this video to know what the details of this video are about exactly. So I'll show you exactly how I put my boots on, how I put the buckle settings so you can see for yourself and then I'll answer a few more questions after that. With longer radius skis and fist slalom skis while performing carving, I set my boots to have them pretty tight and this gives me the direct feedback I need from hard surfaces. If I'm carving on softer snow, I will loosen the power strap as I don't need as much feedback from the snow. So I'll toggle between a loose power strap and or a tight power strap, just depending if it's really hard snow or a little bit softer snow. Basically for any type of carving style skiing, these are how I set my boots and this setting utilizes the boots maximum stiffness so it feels like 150 flex. Short swing turns, powder skiing and intermediate style skiing, I'll have my boots on a looser setting and the power strap a little looser as well. This gives me a little more play and not so much feedback from the snow as I'm not trying to get huge performance. I'll play around with little variations of this. Basically, these settings make the boot feel more like 130 flex, just to give you a reference. I might have confused some people by saying undone. What I mean by undone is the buckles are still open, but they are still attached as well, and a loose power strap for the most part. But if I'm really trying to push it and go fast in the moguls, I'll just loosen them to the end range and then close them in this setting. And this gives the boot a 110 to 120 flex feel. Remember, this is my personal preference after years of experimentation. You'll need to start testing out what your preferences are and depending on your size, weight and ability and obviously your intent, you could have different preferences to mine. This is more a video to give you some ideas on the variations you can have with a setup in regards to the stiffness of your boot. I know some riffing skiers who just do them up the same for any conditions and they ski awesome. So there is no one correct way and you'll just have to work out what works for you personally. I like the stiff boot because it gives the flexibility to keep increasing performance or decreasing performance depending on the conditions. But that's just my personal preference. A bonus question, a question I got from Josh Duncan Smith. Where can we find the all white Riley Pro model boot? Well, this boot here is, the all, is an all white DRS. This is a Franken boot. The DRS boot I got last year was the first year of the green cuff and the 150 flex with the green cuff was too soft. So I swapped it out with the years before cuff. 
I just felt that the years before cuff was a little stiffer, so I changed it over to that. That's why this is all white, no other reason. If you're interested in improving your skiing, head over to projectedproductions.com to check out our online learning content. And if you find these videos helpful, give it a like and hit the notifications bell to stay up to date. And if you really liked it, share it with a friend.